But okie dokie, let's jump back in. Oh. There you are, Pickle. Oh my gosh. Okay, now I want people to step on this trap again. Let's try to get slightly better situated. No, that's not going to do it. Well, friends, you can only deal 10 damage, so let's use this as a bit of an opportunity. We get magic mapping. I'm looking for teleport, please. Perfect. Use one of our few teleports here. Just get the heck out of dodge. And murder you, my adder friend. Not quite feeling as scrupulous about that. Even though snakes are cute too. Let's don't get it twisted. Snakes just as cute as cats in most ways. But unfortunately needs must. And how much money do we have now? A hundred gold pieces. So we could go up and buy the teleports. I mean, I'll probably just buy the fear. I guess we could also go for the, the blink scroll is probably the safest bet, but the fear is a little bit cheaper. You can just pick up that bad boy. In fact, we can get the teleport while we're at it here as well. So that's getting one bird, two stoned. And then we can just start to get back on our feet here. Should have picked up the helmet. You know, we're back to the club, so I'll take a page from your book, Captain Bug Swash, and I will grab that bad boy as a bit of a emergency thing here. And how can I single you out, Pickle? There you are, you absolute fool. Okay, best way to kill Pickle without hurting the rest of them. I think blast motes will hurt the rest of them, unfortunately. But on the other hand, we do get far enough ahead here. Got a quick toggle between weapons. Yeah, apostrophe will swap between whichever weapons are on A and B as their uh, their item key. Again, I don't really plan on doing it too too often here. Maybe that will change in the future, and we will want to get those swapped over to the correct things but for the moment we're just going to hold the the stat dagger here and hope that we don't run into anything too too painful moving forward thought you might be teaching me to suck eggs there hey it's always worth mentioning there are so many hockeys in this game that i only learned recently that's one of the advantages of streaming the game is i get to crowdsource from huge uh, such a huge like base of players so no anytime feel free to uh, to test it out because there is always a pretty solid or at the very least non-zero chance that you're going to be teaching me something new. So I do appreciate it regardless. Let's head down. Oh, is this, yeah, corrupted uh, temple here? Hello, Luganu. Right after I was making claims about how like, oh, Luganu can be pretty tough because you never know when you can find an altar. Never mind. Apparently it's easy. But we do also have Mekleb, which is where I was kind of obsessed with. Um, probably like a month and a bit ago now when we were trying out some Genie runs. Maybe I'll revisit Genie of Mekleb. It, it's such a fun combo. I love, you know, getting the heal on kills is kind of a like pseudo Vehemoth style blaster caster. Hmm. Let's go for it. I'm not going to be uh, <clears throat> reinventing the wheel or anything crazy like that, but sometimes that's all for the best. Not bad us for the win. Definitely would have been happy with that as well, but we'll save Fedass for probably what is my favorite combo with them, which is a ranged based character. Definitely not fully in the genie headspace yet. I saw that pair of boots and I got excited for a moment, but we can't use those, silly Turinsky. So let's instead just get back on the road again here, and we should be able to finish off this floor without too, too much trouble. This worm is going to be more annoying than actually problematic. There we go. Oh, grinder. 
what fun you are, my friend. 46% chance to paralyze is not good, I think. Is more than fair to say, but may we just start blasting you. As long as we get enough scorches off, nobody's really a problem, so that's fantastic. Playing as friggin' hunter at the moment, but not fed ass. You killed yourself too many times with your own spores. <laughs> Very much uh, fair enough. Yeah, I find that especially just for putting up like the uh, thorny briars is the main thing. Though there's something also very satisfying about making like a uh, a tower defense style approach to taking care of strong enemies using the oak globe plants. But maybe that's something I need to try out more and I could see what all the excitement is about because I feel like I very rarely use the... Uh, I don't even remember what the, the swore ability is, but regardless, it's usually pretty low on my list. Ooh, but we'll swap over to Steam Dragon Scales here, get a couple more points of armor class, and we get Animate Dead as our next spell. So I think this is like the uh, aura, like lingering effect, right? Sometime after casting this, living creatures will rise as zombies. Okay. Definitely getting a bit of an interesting combination here today. Oops, let's adjust spells. Oh my gosh. Let's try that again. Adjust spells. There we go. And put that onto a, our one of our other hockeys here. And we'll maybe start raising an army. I don't know how much we'll, we'll use it at the end of the day here. But it's at least worth trying out. There we go. We get our first new friend. Why, hello there. Then we can uh, control T just to make sure that we're staying at the same pace. You know what? I'm going to reset my reaping because I would rather have an ogre friend. Travel at normal speed here. And there we go. Slow down once again just to make sure that we're keeping on pace with our ogre buddy. You know, in some ways, I like to imagine that this is Throger coming to our side once more here. If you love wiping Zod 5 with it and breaking back into the maze to take all the loot with Fedhas, right? I kind of forget that Overgrowth is one of the few ways to actually get through unbreakable walls. So yeah, very helpful in Zod 5. Can also be really nice. You can like ninja the slime rune out of there as well, which is always a fun approach. Very cool. Uh, let's go back up to normal speed before I forget to do so and come to uh, an embarrassing end. Scarf from Invisibility will pick up even though it's not looking like it'll be something we uh, put into practice anytime too too soon. And... Oof, oof, oof. Just trying to stay away from big boy orc here. At least uh, our smaller buddy can't actually deal too, too much damage as we continue to heal as we walk away. 25 for you. I'm sure we'll be fine just heading upstairs. So let's do so. You know, if we just head down and start blasting, we're probably fine, right? Well, can always head right back upstairs if need be. Fantastic. In fact, I probably should have... <laughs> Oops, fall into a shaft. Uh, but probably should have cast Animate Dead a little earlier in that encounter when we had all of the uh, orc buddies to, to bring onto our side and move forward with. But that's fine, of course. And let's just try our best to make it back upstairs. There we go. And beautiful. We at least made it back up to the same floor that we left behind. And now let's just not die immediately upon doing so, shall we? Could be nice, could be fun. And not too shabby here. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with a Viral Mentalist start on, uh, on Genie, but I'm still very glad to be making good progress here so far. And we're looking mighty close to heading off this floor and continuing our exploration downwards. Beautiful. Oh, hey. 
There's our lair entrance, how about that? Just inconspicuously hanging out in the middle of nowhere for some reason. Very interesting. Um, but okie dokie, right back into the mix, finding, dang it, another guardian spirit. I think in our last genie run, that was also the first amulet we found. Very unfortunate, but not the end of the world, of course. And we'll just dive into it once more here. You know what, let's actually engage in some blast mode energy. Perfect. Helps to just deal a little bit of AoE as well as giving us that little bit of wiggle room. A bit of spacing between us and our new friends. So thank you, blast modes. Always appreciate your work. And, ooh. I do really want your skin. Oh, you son of a gun. Unfortunately, it seems like we burnt it to a crisp, so we'll have to get him next time. Mission failed, we'll get him next time, but that's fine. And perfect, able to finish off our two-headed ogre friend. In fact, what we probably should have done, started animating dead a little bit earlier on in that encounter, but that's fine. And... Yes, I will fire at my own killer bee zombie. As much as I hate to admit it, oh my gosh, where the heck are all these zombies coming from? Did we get, oh, it must be the uh, undead entrance to Orc, I believe that is. As I accidentally cast Scorch with no one in range, like the fool I am, perfect. And slightly, uh, risking things here by just biting at especially low health, but that's fine. You are not fast, my friend, so I'm going to start I'll start walking away, but I kind of didn't put two and two together that if you just attack my bee, there's a chance you end up right next to me. Well, that's interesting. No, that's fine. We'll just blast you once again, my friend, and not too shabby. Hang on the stairs and you just head up if we keep seeing the same kind of behavior. Might as well play it a little bit on the safe side. Just make sure we get the heck out of dodge in time. Oh my gosh. And yeah, phantoms and undead. Definitely a, a bit of a theme going on here so far. Fortunately, fire should just churn through these sons of guns without too much of a, a care in the world. And it definitely does seem to be the case so far. And let's try to get some uh some orcs on our side here shall we please and thank you maybe not so much <laughs> not so much we got a couple of new friends i guess that's all we can really ask for no need to be too too selfish here at the end of the day friends are friends um if you kiddos could uh get into the mix never mind you did your best out there champ nice try um, and I will fire at my yak zombie once. Oh, it does make them angry. That's actually good to know. I didn't really fully internalize that in the B fight, even though I do think that I, oh, geez, saw it take place. Just need to immediately get out of range of the electric eel, though once we have some health back, we should actually be totally fine to deal with them. Steamed eel. One of our favorite dungeon delicacies, of course. And there, immediately gets taken out. Perfect. Ooh, and we get another opportunity to pick up some, some new skin. So please and thank you. Oh my gosh, you shouldn't have. So, so generous to leave me with a bit of a parting gift here. It wasn't really trying to, or you weren't really trying to kill me with that eel. I don't know. Very suspicious timing on that. Oh, go to the water, they said. How could it possibly go wrong as I immediately get shocked to my core in more ways than one? But no, I think still a good idea, especially since it is deep water, so I can kind of just abuse the ever-living crap out of this. So, great in practice, or in theory, a little bit rougher in practice, but hey, it all worked out in the long run. And in general, we do, once again, do a fairly decent job of taking care of, of those eel buddies. 
You have to admit your eyes bugged out slightly when you saw me do that. Oh, it won't be... Probably wasn't the first and it won't be the last either. We make all sorts of unbelievable decisions here on the channel, but hey, all part of the fun, of course. And there we go. We finish off our lovely little vault here. I probably should head upstairs back to the, the plethora of shops that we left behind. I guess we'll finish off this floor since we are very, very close to doing so. And then let's jump back. I mean, oh yeah, definitely should get this blinking scroll now that I think about it. That's an easy snap by. By that, probably this as well. Oh, haste, we actually have ID'd already. Yeah, I'll still buy it. Still probably will come in handy. In fact, let's just spend all of our money here while we're in the area. And then we can always come back later. Are we on D5, 6 now? Actually, definitely, definitely lower. Time flies when you're incinerating everything in your path. Holy moly, there we go. Okay, now we're fully caught back up here. And let's just get right back into the, the pilot seat here. Jump into the mix of things. Or, you know, face no enemies. Ah, oh, there we go, finally. Hello, friend. It's actually surprisingly nice to see you, as I thought we were all alone in this uh, cold, dark world. And let's continue to bring friends in at pretty much an equal pace to how quickly we're taking out enemies until the very end at least i guess things kind of picked up in the final few moments and we get a few buddies to uh to walk the rest of this uh mechlep forsaken dungeon with us so that's beautiful in its own way well i'm tempted to reanimate dead here just to get a bit of a different selection of buddies but no worries for the time being. We'll just keep on keeping on. How much damage do you do? 26 and claw for 14 twice. You know, in retrospect, it makes sense that you're kind of demolishing us, but oof. Let's be a little bit more careful with that, shall we? Did I check that orb from the shop? I did not. In fact, that's probably what I should have spent that last surplus we had. I think we had around 300 gold, so we would have had to wait until around now-ish, but... No, I do need to keep that in mind. 350 gold. I do get at, um, access to an artifact. Jeez Louise. Okay, so these rooms, not a cool place to hang out, turns out. Nothing but, uh, but death awaits us here. Oh, me oh my. I kind of forgot we got summon mana viper. I should use that spell a little bit more. It's a fun one pretty dang powerful as well. I mean, chances are we don't immediately die here, so let's just go with one more Scorch. <gasps> oh, son of a gun. <laughs> Famous last words, chances are we don't die here. <laughs> oh, man. Oh, and I had three acquirement scrolls and enough ID to have definitely found them. So... Something I actually thought of when we last came down the stairs to this floor is I was like, oh, once this like tiny encounter I'm in is over, I should use all these ID scrolls. Then I just didn't, of course. Nothing unusual there. That's pretty much standard practice when it comes to me playing, but... Oh, definitely could have been nice. Gosh darn it. Lyle, maybe this uh, genie name was never meant for us. Well, he didn't want to say anything until I spent the money. Hey, fair enough. I respect that. You do that way too often, except on your tryhard account. <laughs> yeah, I feel that. I play fast and loose, which, you know, generally actually works out surprisingly well for me until it doesn't. But hey, such is life sometimes, not the end of the world. Let's uh go back to the, the web here. Get a new name, because I'm going to try one more genie. I would like to uh, to make some amount of progress here. Oh, Ifrit. That's, that's the fire genie of choice, I'm sure. 